Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yolendo TV. I hope you're well from wherever you watch this channel. Now, I'd like to start this session by appreciating everybody who is making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, please just subscribe to our channel and also hit the like button. Now, I've always maintained in this channel that it could have been possible that this government was not elected as some other people think. Why is the government subjecting Kenyans to punitive taxations? The government is planning to introduce a 3% on housing levy. There is talk of an increase in M-Pesa transaction. There is talk of an increase in the cryptocurrency, a tax on it. There is talk of a tax being imposed on the beauty products. There is talk of a tax that is already uh, been increased on uh, the payee, you know. Then there is also that issue of NSSF taxation. I mean the NSF deductions. broadcast our top story. Public sector unions have opposed the proposed new taxations that seek to increase a tax on the pay as you earn national housing, development fund and new levies that target to increase the collections for the next financial year. The unions are currently addressing the media here in Nairobi. Let's listen in. For the media, you will help us in getting this message across to those who are our members, the public, and more so the government itself. And so I will present and read on behalf of my colleagues this press statement. And my colleagues with me will be able to beef it up with their off-remark uh, session. This is a press statement by the Public Service Sector Unions. It is dated 7th of May, 2023. And it is headlined over taxation of public servants in Kenya. The public service sector trade unions' attention has been drawn to the proposed finance bill 2023 and the continued raiding of public servant pay slips by government. The tax authorities continue to overburden the workers in the public sector whose salaries are deducted at source while doing very little to net those employed in the private sector. This overtaxation is going on unabated despite the fact that an employee's salary is protected by law and that any deduction thereto can only be done by mutual consent or through negotiation by the workers' representatives. So I want to take you through these taxations, the ones that the government has proposed. There are those which are going on and there are those which the government is planning to introduce. So let me take you through these taxes first of all. Now first, the government is planning to increase exercise on mobile money transfer services up from 12% to 15%. What does that mean? M-Pesa charges will increase. Then, the government is planning to increase a pay for workers earning between 500,000 and above from 30% to 35%. That is the increment in pay as you earn. But of course, it falls within the bracket of those people earning above 500,000. But what I know about governments and their policies is that the government is starting with that the people earn more. Then it will go down to the people who earn less because at the end of the day, everybody will be subjected to this kind of increment. If you tax, let's say 10% of your earnings, the government has started by taxing uh, those people earning above 500,000 at 35%, which according to me translates to the government taking 100,000 from these people. This is quite uh, not the way it's supposed to be, but your salary 
you earn 500, the government will take 100k from you. Then there is this issue of 3%. Now, the government is planning to, this is what the, the government thinks, firms and workers to pay housing funds 3% of salary monthly, and some should not exceed 5,000. I mean, okay, fine. They will take less than 5,000 from you, but it's 3,000 of your salary. That means if, they, if by the time they do that taxation, it's like 20,000 or 10,000, 10, they still take 5,000. So the maximum amount the government is planning to take from you is 3%, which should be less than 5,000. So you know what that will do. Then we'll have, we have another, another taxation. This is, this is now the turnover tax. They're saying that the businesses with an annual turnover of 500,000 to 15 million to pay turnover tax. Previously, it was between 1 million to 50 million, but it has gone down to 500,000. So that is if your turnover rates between 500,000 to 15 million, then you will pay a turnover tax. Then there is also the issue of cryptocurrency and other digital asset uh, dealers. They will pay an asset tax. That is another taxation that the government is introducing. Then there is this that is going to bite Sana. In fact, the issue of fuel, if it's to be increased according to the proposal, then this will affect so many people. Currently, it's alleged that it's 8%. The government plans to introduce 16%. That is 8% extra VAT on fuel. And you know what that will have, the, the kind of impact that will have on us? Because that means petrol, diesel, literally fuel, gas, they will never go down. Because the government will have doubled this taxation. The VAT on the, on the, on the fuel will be doubled. So this is another part that is going to affect literally everything. Talk about production cost. That means if production cost is affected, all the prices will be affected. Then there is this issue. Now this goes to the gamblers. 7.5% is going to go up to 20%. That is the exercise that is the excess duty on amount staked for betting to increase from 7.5% to 20%. That means if you want to maybe bet, do betting for those people who gamble. If you have to put let's say 20,000 or 10,000 as your stake, the government will take 20% of that stake first of all. Because that means it will affect your winning. So for those people who rely on gambling, this is going to affect their revenue. Then there is another part, now the tax on dividends. I think this is now for the Sako, Sako people, the Sakos and the, and the, the Chamas. It's going to increase from 5% to 15%. That is a tax on dividends that is going to be charged. So ladies and gentlemen, this explains why I still believe that the government is not doing something that is for the people. But whatever the government is doing is against the people. I know when you tell me that the economy has grown, I'm supposed to feel in a pinch, a financial pinch. I'm supposed to feel that the prices have gone down. I'm supposed to feel that the taxations on me have gone down. I'm supposed, supposed to feel any some sigh of relief. But if you're subjecting me to this kind of taxation and then you tell me that the economy has grown, then how am I supposed to enjoy the growth in economy? Definitely the government is not telling us something here. The government has embarked on Ushuru, Ushuru, and Ushuru. And that explains why there is looming uh, demonstrations. The union workers have said that if the government imposes the 3% on the housing levy, they are going to go to the streets. First, they will down their tools. Second, they will go to the streets and they will demonstrate. I remember in uh, yesterday in Kilifi County, Raila Molodinga weighed on, on this issue, then uh, Getru, then there was uh, Mbeyu, the women rep for Kilifi County, also weighed in on the same issue. I remember seeing Governor Mungaro also weigh in on this issue. A number of so many people have weighed in on the issue. The funny thing is that we didn't see, we don't see Atoli talk bad about this issue of taxation. Initially, Atoli alikuwa na tetea sana, but this time round, Tulana Tuoli looks like to be rubber stamping literally everything that the government is doing. 
So Atoli Amengizo Ko Box, that is not something that we want to discuss here because it's available in the public domain. Atoli Amengizo Ko Box. Atoli would have been the first person to criticize these moves, to criticize this kind of punitive taxations on Kenyans, but Atoli is not doing anything about it. This explains the reason why we still maintain and think that Atoli Alengizo Fukoni is not something that is not someone that we want to discuss about here, but Kenyans are crying to the government. Kenyans are telling the government to please give them some sigh of relief, Kidogo Apumue, because the economy is not doing well and people are not earning well at the moment. So, ladies and gentlemen, can you tell us what you think about this below the comment section? Do you think that the government is doing the right thing and doing justice to the people? I maintain if the government was legally elected, then it would have had some, you know, rumor to these people in your neo rumor. But since the government looks like it has nothing to lose, it is not even worried about what the people will say. Probably that explains that maybe on Lazimisha Userikali Kuchukua. Could that be the case? So, ladies and gentlemen, can you tell us below the comment section? Once again, I would like to urge you to stay safe, stay blessed until you catch up again in our next analysis.